channel so I am so nervous right now I don't even know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna say I'm already blabbering uh, but this is my baby YouTube channel so I've been working on this for a year now and uh, I think it's been the past two months that everything is actually coming alive um, I'm really excited I, I really don't know what all to say I mean what all to blabber in front of the camera in one shot now before I begin this video uh, I would really love it if you guys subscribe to my channel so that you get every update of whatever videos I'm going to be posting in the next few weeks uh, and I would really appreciate it if you like share and comment below in the comment box so moving on, I've chosen the most classic topic, which is what is in my bag? <laughs> so what's in my bag is the very obvious, uh, but my first uh, YouTube video. So guys, I keep changing my bag all the time. I love bags. Uh, you could call me a bag addict and uh, I have a gazillion bags at home. So I'm a kind of girl that carries her world in her bag. I think that's about almost, that's, that's something that I hear from all the girls. Uh, but I carry my world in my bag and I guess that's what my bag says about me. So there are these two kinds of bags that I want to talk about today and that is the usual sling bag and the tote. So basically, um, there are these sling bags that I really, really love. And uh, they, these bags I carry like for a whole day trip, uh, say if I have to head out in the morning and come back in the evening, it's quite a spacious bag and it's got probably two compartments. Uh, uh, it's got a compartment for like cards and it's got a compartment for uh, like coins and notes. So uh, I like carrying these bags uh, for the day. Uh, like suppose it's a work, it's, it's, me it's work, it's meetings or it's just me heading out. You know, I could like carry it like a purse or I could carry it like a sling, you know, in any of the ways. So uh, this is one type of a bag that I really love and it fits in a lot of my stuff. Um, now moving on to my party and my night out purse is this one. Uh, again, this is a beautiful purse. Uh, uh, Karina, my friend Karina Santani, uh, Curry Berry <laughs> got me this purse when she was uh, in Singapore. And uh, I love the fact that it has some gold on it because in the night I'm always like dressed up with a little bling. Again, it looks pretty tiny, but uh, this bag is again quite spacious if you have a look at it. You know, I can fit my phone, a little mini camera, the one that I'm shooting from, uh, my credit cards, cash, uh, a little bit of makeup. So all this kind of fits in really perfect, even like my house keys and I'm going to show you guys what my house keys look like. Uh, so you will understand but it fits in all those things and it's just perfect for like a night out for say a couple of hours three to four hours uh, it fits in all the stuff that I need so this is another kind of bag that I really uh, love carrying now the third kind of bag is this uh, particular cute one uh, you I know I don't ever carry it like this I think I bought this uh, in Thailand but I don't remember from Bangkok or from Phuket uh, this bag again has a lot of space in it so if you see uh, this has this little lock now this bag again I carry during the day or something small fits in my camera fits in my phone fits in a little bit of makeup that I want uh, I think pretty much works uh, you know at any time so uh, these are the kind of bags that I usually carry for a couple of hours or you know if I'm just stepping out and trust me I have a gazillion of them so I was uh, checking a lot of these uh, videos, I mean, for inspiration and stuff of what people have done of what's in my bag and uh, I was just, so I was uh, watching a lot of these videos, I think they were these Pink Villa videos uh, where they were asking celebrities about what was in their bag and um, uh, they had asked them all these questions like you know if you were uh, if you had to just uh, uh, switch your bag with anyone um, or you would want to know what's in uh, anybody else's bag who would it be uh, so um, I was just wondering like if anyone had to ask me the same question and um, ask me who I would want to switch my bag with or whose bag I would want to 
get a peek into uh, it would be obviously Kareena Kapoor Khan I really love Kareena Kapoor um, and uh, if not I think it would be Kim Kardashian or Paris Hilton I would not want to peek into their bag but I would love it if you know by mistake we switched bags or you know we could just get a you know I would get a chance to swap bags with them that would be amazing I uh, wanting oh, the three people I would want to carry in my bag would be my mom would be my mother-in-law and would be my best friend Gloria uh, I'll give you reasons my mom to keep me sane and keep me more tracked down like you know to keep me a little more uh, focused and the way I am today my mother-in-law will let me be a free spirit and you know enjoy all the roller coaster rides of life and always keep me you know really on fleek and she loves to dress me up and stuff like that uh, my best friend Gloria because uh, we have been friends for like 18 19 years now and all my best friends like you know I've always we've always made a pact that every year we meet anyhow some way or the other and Gloria and I also used to do the same but after she moved to Australia I think in four years we met once and then again now I'm gonna meet her uh, this December for my wedding but you know we kind of missed out a lot in our lives so all we could do was call you know talk to each other on the phone or whatsapp video call or stuff like that but I would love to carry her around for a whole day and just like you know let her be like stuck to me uh, I would really really love that uh, and I think all my other really close friends and my best friends would agree that you know I've missed Gloria a lot uh, a lot a lot a lot and um, I would really love to carry her around everywhere if I ever got a chance to um, run away to an island and I could just take and I could just take three things from this bag of mine uh, at an, in an island I don't think I'll need my phone or charger there's no point no camera usage because there's not, not going to be any really uh, uh, chance to charge it anywhere so I would like to take my sunglasses. I think I have three in this bag. I'll take all the three sunglasses for my all the three moods. Uh, I would take a mirror because I don't think an island would have mirror. I'm not that kind of a person who would like to look at myself in the water and be happy. So probably mirror. And um, usually I have some uh, food and munchies in my bag. With this kind of a full bag, I still have space. You know, not just my icebreakers, but I do have space to um, you know keep some munchie so probably I'll take that munchie so that till I figure out how to survive on the island I still have something to depend on <laughs> so yeah I would take these three things uh, if I'd ever you know had just a chance to just pick out three things from my bag and I was just gonna like drown or before drowning to escape to an island if I had to ever like you know uh, go to an island I mean like stranded island I would kind of take these three things from my bag uh, moving on uh, I'm gonna talk about this bag today and I got this uh, tote from the States and uh, I think I got it for about uh, $80 uh, it's not an original so guys don't worry there were no animals harmed in the process uh, but uh, this is obviously a travel bag that I wanted uh, I really love the way it looks and since the time I've seen it I have fallen in love with the size and with the kind of spacing it has in this bag so uh, and the color which goes with everything uh, but uh, I, it was obviously a travel bag so there was no point really investing a huge amount in this bag because there are times like when I'm traveling in the airport in the airplane I just drop this bag down I just throw this bag down and you know it's just kept me on my feet and if I would have actual paid the actual amount for this bag I don't think I would have ever been able to keep it anywhere down there uh, you know like the other kind of bags that I have uh, the other kind of branded bags that I have like I would never even like you know let anyone touch it or put their oily fingers on it but uh, this bag is mostly like a travel bag so I've kind of like you know just picked up you know a fake one and I'm really happy with it actually it really works well and I can kind of manhandle it like if you see these things are already like coming out of it but I've really used it for the past year I'm a nice person in life I mean uh, nothing uh, about me or my life is a very organized thing uh, but when it comes to my bag, I'm quite organized. Uh, I kind of compartmentalize my bag uh, and that is by, you know, having pouches for everything. Uh, I don't like bags, especially travel purses or ba travel bags uh, that have a lot of compartments in, its e in itself because those compartments are not really like they don't fulfill my requirement. Uh, so I kind of like to compartmentalize them by myself and that is why I pouch it. 
So basically, I have a pouch for everything and each of these pouches go into my bag. Ah, oh, there's more actually. <laughs> there's one more, which is my little uh, makeup bag. Uh, but I compartmentalize them by, uh, by pouching them down and it's like a, uh, here a pouch, there a pouch, everywhere, pouch, pouch. <laughs> So before any kind of a travel or say I have a shoot or even probably like a sleepover I kind of just like you know plan everything I keep a few clothes aside which goes into my suitcase and this is like the bag that has everything else So moving on the first thing that you would find in my bag is my iPad uh, I don't basically consider a phone because my phone's always in my hand So it's the first thing you'd find is an iPad on which I like watching movies or doing some work or stuff like that and then something that call, that has uh, that and then you will find my diary with the pen I just can't find the pen probably it's lost in my bag right now but it's usually placed in here uh, so this is the next thing and it says make something today and it has this whole uh, like a planner thing you know that has like a to-do list and it has calls to make places to go to time tracker with meetings you know today's menu because sometimes I have to look into that as well the number of uh, water bottles that I've drank, sleep hours, fruits and vegetables, how many hours I exercise so you know just to keep a calculation of everything uh, I don't really use it every day but I use it to make a lot of notes and stuff on the blank page and then if suppose I have some planning here so then accordingly what number of calls I need to make when the meeting is I write that down here and a notebook is very important I'm kind of quite old school that way like I like to pen down my thoughts I or sometimes if I'm in a meeting and I don't really want to do that like I probably just record the whole thing on my phone but to actually start analyzing and working on it I really need to note things down and pen them down so the next thing in uh, the next thing in my bag is this particular uh, pouch it's my toiletry pouch it has like my sanitary napkins my nipple caps or uh, my nipple covers uh, it has some of these uh, we wash wipes and I don't just carry one or two just for myself, I carry for my friends as well. Uh, I have one sanitary, um, uh, one sanitizer and this is damn cute. I picked it up from the States, from the Bath and Body Works and it has Girl Boss written on it. So I got it for all my girlfriends, uh, like my really close friends. I have lens cases because that's very important. Guys, I don't have any power but I really love wearing contact lenses and colored lenses though I'm not wearing one right now uh, but uh, I always carry these with some solution which is also in this like a smaller bottle uh, but that's only because it's just not good for your eyes to sleep in it or to even keep it for many hours so after you're done with your shoot or you're done with your party and you know it's kind of done and you don't mind removing it get rid of it it's very important so this is like the first pouch of my bag that I'm showing you guys uh, the next next thing is this pouch which if as you can see there's a there's a little bit of jewelry uh, my so it has a spare watch uh, my actual watch is not here i'm just going to show you guys that as well uh, i have a fossil watch which is a digital watch and um this is like the spare one that's a gold one so i have a silver one this is from bb uh, i have like a choker a standard choker which is a must i have some hoops and some bracelets and stuff which I can just, you know, add it to my outfits and my outfits like are, my outfits are completely glammed up. So um, this is the next pouch. It has a little bit of jewelry, a little bit so that, you know, in case anything, I'm always ready in case I have to do a quick shoot or I have to just head out with friends. And even if I'm wearing like a simple t-shirt or something or a simple t-shirt and jeans, I can just put on hoops, put on a couple of bracelets, some rings and, you know, I'm like all set to go. My next pouches are my makeup pouches. Uh, I have again <laughs> divided that into different things. This particular pouch has all my, um, everything that looks like this, like my brush, uh, my foundation, my mascara, uh, another mascara, <laughs> another mascara, and some brushes, like all my brushes, my contour brush, uh, my highlighter brush, you know eyeshadow brush so this has basically all these kind of things it has my eyeliner uh, so this pouch basically has all of that that's a closer view to it it's a nice shiny bling pouch uh, this next pouch this next pouch has something that says I don't sparkle I mean I don't sweat I sparkle so this pouch has all my lipsticks and it has my hand cream hand cream is 
very important again this one is from bath and body wash sorry bath and body works this one's again from bath and body works and uh, it's berry sweet hand cream uh, it's beautiful heart of gold i really love it hand cream is very important uh, then i have this one which is uh, from bath and body works again it's the jingle bell berry it's a hand cream it's it smells beautiful uh, lots of lipsticks max Color Girl, Color Bar, L'Oreal, Color Bar, and then I have a couple of nail polishes like white, black, a uh, little glitter. These are like you know must haves. Like you should have a couple of nail polishes in your bag all the time. Oh, I have my one of my concealers are lying in here. Another Color Bar. Oh, I have two two hand creams in here, so I'm just gonna switch it into like to, to my bag or something. But hand creams are very important these days. Like you know, we use so much of hand sanitizer. We keep like you know messing our hands up all the time, like putting our hands onto different things. Now this is the last one which I got from the states. So this is from this brand called Justice. Uh, so I sh made this into my makeup pouch because as usual I love a lot of glitter and I like a lot of this. In this I have all my palettes like I have my Naked palette, my Sephora palette, uh, my cover fix, that's my contour kit and then I have like my e.l.f. This is my cream contour palette. And then I have my uh, the Balm Cosmetics. I really love the Illuminator of Balm Cosmetics. A must try. It's it's really really nice. And then I have one more thing, which is um, the Contour Artist from Balm, uh, the Balm Plan, the Balm Cosmetics. Some Color Bar. There's these glitter bo uh, boxes that I have. Some Mac Rouge. Oh my favorite Chanel. So yeah, this bag has all my palettes and I love this little cute P that it has on it. So it just marks it that it's mine. <laughs> so moving on, the next thing uh, in my bag is my wallet. Now everybody says this is quite a big thing. I mean a big purse or a big whatever for a wallet. But I don't think so because in case I'm not carrying the big tote or I'm not carrying a sling, I'm just heading probably to the store or uh, to the bank or you know usually these kind of places where you need to carry your purse like you know with your ID proofs and stuff like that is this bag I have like a pocket for and this um, for that I have this bag, uh, this purse and this is from Claire's, uh, this is again from the states that I got it and uh, it has uh, my small little mirror which I've been using for years so it has this little mirror I'm just loving this lip color it, and then I have this uh, little roll on which is Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande it smells beautiful I just love it and I can just keep rolling it on everywhere Then moving on to the next pocket. The next pocket is basically uh, something that opens up like this. That's the another. That's the next best thing that I love about this uh, wallet. Uh, it kind of has my other card, my debit card, my credit card, my health insurance, my PAN card. It has a couple of my passport size photographs. So what I've done is I keep all my passport size photographs in here. I'm just going to show you guys a couple actually. And that's one more. That's me, I don't know how many years ago. Oh, that's my friend Rishi. <laughs> Can't believe I have a picture in my wallet. <laughs> that's how much I love you, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, there's more here. And this one's my favorite. This one's the latest one since I've been married. So yeah, this is my favorite one. This is Mrs. Potness. <laughs> traveling of course uh, this is something that I am very particular about carrying hand sanitizers hand creams these perfumes and body mist it's very important for me because uh, for me smell is a huge issue like as soon as 
Now the next things in my bags are my chargers. This is the charger to my camera from the one that I'm shooting right now. My Beats headphones. Uh, this, this is my iPhone charger. And this is the charger to my watch. Uh, there's my watch, I'm not wearing it, but it's a fossil watch. And it's digital. So as soon as I look at it, like the screen goes on. So yeah, that's my that's that's my watch. So this is the charger to my watch. Now next I have oh the sunglasses that I was talking about. So I have these two. Now this one is something that just helps me, uh, you know, like I'm just dressed in this t-shirt today. A lot of times I'm just casually dressed in a t-shirt or just probably track suits or something. And uh, you know, I don't have makeup on, so I just put on some lipstick and I put these glares on. So it just kind of completely makes me look like a different person. And I kind of enjoy that, you know, when I'm doing like, I'm running errands or I'm doing something really basic. I kind of like it when people don't recognize me or don't, don't want to say hi to me that kind of makes me happy so these are my savior sunglasses uh, savior uh, specs or glares or whatever you want to call it it's uh, not that I believe that you should always have your makeup on or something like that but I'm just comfortable with a little base and in case I don't even have that which is most of the time when I'm doing like the rest of my normal work uh, I just like to put these on when I step out I mean it just kind of you know uh, makes me look really different and other than that, I always carry a pair of metallic sunglasses. Like I showed you, the early ones were black and brown and more matty. So these metallic ones are basically very, very cool. And when I just have to step out and say, put on some jewelry and some uh, earrings and some hoops or something like that, few few rings, um, I think I just uh, put these sunglasses on and they look really cool. I either go for a gold or a silver. Sometimes I carry both. But recently I got these from, um, I can't remember where I got these sunglasses from. And it has a gold rim. It has a gold rim and a metallic uh, silver uh, reflection. So it kind of fits in both ways. Like if I'm wearing silver jewelry, I can still wear this. If I'm wearing gold jewelry, I can still wear the same. Now the next thing in my bag is my keys. Uh, my house keys, my bike keys, uh, my earlier my bike keys, I mean I don't really use that bike anymore and then key So the next thing I have in my bag are mints. I love mint and I think everyone should carry a mint. Smelling good is very important again. So uh, these icebreakers are not what I really like, especially all these flavored ones. I like the icebreaker mints, uh, uh, the natural uh, spray mint because that's what actually makes sense to you know use as mint I got these from uh, the Big Foods Pune which is an NIBN uh, they have all these amazing imported stuff which makes me really happy uh, again I got this Wrigley's uh, extra um, uh, spray mint uh, this Wrigley's extra spray mint uh, chewing gum again I really love this one it has about 14 pieces in it and it very it's very 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 long lasting so uh, a mint is very important, I always carry it in my bag and this is something that I kind of switch into my slings again. Uh, you know, probably just need to carry it for like a night out or an entire day in meetings or something like that. Now after that, the next thing I have in my bag ooh, is my power bank. I think everybody needs to have a power bank. I have about 3-4 of them. Um, Power banks are really important these days. Maybe not for a night out, but I think it's very good for a night out also because you girls don't want your phones to go off and you know, you can't book your cabs or you can't contact your parents, which is not a very good thing. So carrying a power bank, I have, in, I have one in all sizes. The ones for my like long day travels or a day travel is a little bigger than the ones that I just carry for a night out. And in fact, my night out ones are really cooler. I have like this Superman and a Batman and then this one, like these are all the cute ones. I always carry two, three phone covers this is what is on my phone right now but it's not always uh, this one this is a bling one and then sometimes if I'm hanging out with the boys and I don't want to be very girly like I kind of carry these or something I got these two from uh, the gone case you can uh, check my Instagram uh, to get their link and uh, this one I got again from Claire's but I got this from Claire's Pune in Phoenix Market City which is not open anymore it's completely shut down and while they were shutting down I got this at an amazing discount and I think I paid only 200 bucks for it which is amazing 
Now there are last few things in my bag which are last. Now there is some kachra in my bag, like oh, you know something which everyone suffers with, and that is where uh, I always carry safety pins. Very important, girls. So this is something that goes again into my sling because you know just to be safe. Lots of rubber bands. This is to you know put that bun thing. It's something that I always. Wear. Oh, some hair pins. I have a few more. Oh, I have this lighter which I got from Thailand. Uh, it glows in the dark and it's as usual got the Mexican uh, skull candy on it and I'm obsessed with Mexican skull candies. You guys follow my Instagram and everything you know that uh, my Instagram and if you guys follow my Instagram and Snapchat you obviously know that I'm obsessed with the Mexican skull candy and I have an ashtray like that, I have a lighter like that, I have a cigarette case like that I have like small small things like you know related to the Mexican skull candy like a bag and the next thing I have is um, fidget spinner I had this really 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 cool fidget spinner before this uh, I got them all together for a lot of friends and a couple for myself but the best one was this really beautiful metallic rose pink with a lot of ball bearing kind of design in it like really heavy metal it was beautiful but then I don't know where uh, in the shifting of my um, houses I've kind of lost it which depresses me but it was really nice I think I got that from the states as well and that was the most expensive one that I got of all the fidget spinners but I really miss that one, I really love that one. This one's a very basic one which has like this <laughs> shit emoji on it. And uh, yeah, these are some things that I always carry in my bag. The next thing in my bag is my camera pouch. And I really love the camera. It has two pouches. I have had this pouch for about 10 to 12 years now. I don't remember where I got it. It was somewhere in Calcutta or Gujarat. Um, it has two pouches, uh, one in which I can like keep, uh, suppose I'm using one memory card and I want to just place it in here or I'm at a shoot and in just quickly I want to put in some jewellery like I have some bracelets in it right now. Uh, so this is one and the other one fits in this, it's got this cute floral print inside. And just recently I got all these, um, uh, and otherwise it's a really sleepy spongebob which is just my life all the time. Okay guys, so this is what was... <laughs> In my bag, uh, I don't really, I always have like a jacket or a stall uh, or a stall, uh, a jacket or a shawl when I'm traveling so that's usually something that's kept on top so it covers up everything else but I don't really like zipping up my bag and stuff that much, I don't have the habit but this one has, oh, this one has this one cool factor to hold it together, I just need to put this hook on so it just remains tight and then so yeah, this is what is in my bag. I'm usually never carrying this with either my husband or um, <laughs> it's either my husband or my servant. So yeah, this tote is really close to me and I love the fact that I have uh, this particular thing which has my name, my number, just in case I've left the bag which is never. Uh, this little ball thing, a little glittery strip and a mini mouse. I think I got this mini mouse from uh, Miami. So yeah, this is what is in my bag. I hope you guys so guys, I hope you love this video. I know it's pretty long and I know it's not fun when you have to watch such long videos. I hope you enjoyed my, you know, talking and knowing a little bit about me. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and all that jazz. Uh, it'll be really, 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 it'll really motivate me and I really want you guys to motivate me to do these things. Um, I think I'm already nervous enough and I've blabbered enough and I'm really getting conscious now. So uh, that's about it. Please uh, tune in to my channel once again. Probably next Wednesday, Thursday, I'll have another video ready for you. And next time I'm going to make sure it's more fun and it's more related to me.